क्वेश्चन नंबर 133 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इज इनकरेक्ट आउटर मेम्ब्रेन इज परमीएबल टू मोनोमर्स ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट फैट्स एंड प्रोटीन्स दैट्स क्वाइट राइट नो दिस इज माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया एंड यू नो दैट इन माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया एनवेलप इज फॉर्मड ऑफ टू मेम्ब्रेन दिस इज आउटर मेम्ब्रेन दिस वन इज इनर मेम्ब्रेन एंड आउटर मेम्ब्रेन इज मोर परमीएबल दिस इज ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ पोरिन सो दिस इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन Enzymes of electron transport are embedded in outer membrane ETS electron transport system it occurs in inner mitochondrial membrane so this is incorrect inner membrane is convoluted with in foldings so you can see foldings very well in this diagram these foldings they are known as cresta the last option mitochondrial matrix contains single circular dna molecule and ribosome yes mitochondria chloroplasts they possess their own dna so there is presence of a double stranded circular dna and along with that they have 70s ribosome so which one is incorrect here this is incorrect so our right answer for this question is option number 2 Now let's move on to the next question. Xylem translocates. Now according to the previous view, scientists they used to think that xylem is only involved in the transport of inorganic substances, but today we know that xylem is responsible for the transport of inorganic as well as organic substances like hormones, organic nitrogenous substances. So now we can look at the options. Water only. no that's wrong water and mineral salts only again it is incorrect water mineral salts and some organic nitrogen substances only no it is also involved in the transport of hormones water mineral salts some organic nitrogen and hormones so this is our right answer here that is answer 4 next question cell in g not phase so this is another question which is associated with the cell cycle now in the cell cycle you can see different phases g1 s g2 all these three they are part of interphase interphase is a preparatory phase where cell prepare itself for cell division now once preparation is over then it enters m phase where it divides Now, after division, you can see here very well that cell has formed two daughter cell. Let's say out of the two daughter cell, one daughter cell is not going to proliferate further. Yes, one daughter cell it has lost division capacity. If it has lost division capacity, it means it has exit cell cycle. And after exiting cell cycle, it has entered this phase that is G not phase. So what is this G not phase? In the G not phase, cell exits cell cycle. It will not proliferate further unless called upon to do so. So we can now look at the options. G not phase. It is a quiescent phase where cell is not dividing. Here, cell has exit the cell cycle. So right answer to this question is option number one. Let's discuss next question now. 